everyone, welcome back to another episode. For those that are new to the channel, my name's Tane and welcome to an off-coast adventure. It's 5 o'clock in the morning, just gone 5. I'm heading down to Kukanui and um, I'm going to chuck my mate's boat on the truck and me and him are going to go hit the Kari Kari Peninsula. So I'm pretty excited for today, I've got the diving gear, the fishing gear. The plan is to maybe try to catch some kingfish on the top water gear and um, I'm pretty keen to jump in with a spare gun as well. We've got a good forecast for today so it should be a good day out on the water. The place we're going to be heading today is just a fisherman's dream. It's always got heaps of fish there so we'll see you guys out on the water. Made it to the posse and she's bloody flat as out here man. Oh I'm gonna get into flicking some stick baits around because we can't get us a tangy or something on the top water gear. That's us a chaza. Shoot something. So I'm in the water. This is not too bad. It's a little bit dark, being still a little bit early in the morning. But I see the silver drum over here, and I'm pretty keen to take him for a bit of a burly. See if I can't bring in a snapper or two. I've done quite a poor shot in the stomach area, it's quite soft on the fish around the, the gut cavity so I dive down and try to secure it with my hands. Found a nice likely looking ledge that might be holding some snapper. So I just start with gutting the silver drummer, letting it all drift down into this deep gutter and we'll let that sit there for 20 minutes or so and come back and hopefully a snapper or two is just getting themselves a free feed. While they're burly sitting, I'm just cruising up the coastline, snooping over all the boulders and gutters, trying to look for the unmistakable shape of a snapper, but there's not a lot going on at the moment. It's a bit quiet. Just checking another likely gutter here. But no one home other than a few angel fish in this poor eye. Not what I'm after today. Continuing along up the coastline, I finally come across a bit of coast that seems to have a lot more fish life. 
big schools of blue mau mau, other species of bait fish, and I know these kingfish can't be too far away, so I do a few dives to the bottom and just keep looking around. Another nice big port eye comes in to say hi to the camera. Beautiful looking fish. I'm back up on the surface, breathing up, and I look down, and there they are. Some nice kingfish cruising by. I quickly breathe up and get back down there. I dive down to the bottom, do a few rattles on my gun, a few grunts to try and entice these kingfish back to me. Just as I was hoping this nice kingfish comes in and presents a nice broadside shot and I managed to get a nice good holding shot into it. And the battle begins. He's not happy. He's going crazy on the bottom trying to wrap me around the weeds and just holding on to my rail line trying to keep him off the bottom as well as managing my shooting line to make sure I don't get tangled up I'm slowly gaining on him as he tires out witching him in inch by inch another run down to the bottom uh, I can feel he's tiring out and the fights are nearing the end I get him up again get a hand onto the shaft of my spear bit of a tussle with him but put him in a bear hug and give him a knife to the brain see my awesome gloves here I don't even know if you can call those gloves anymore they've seen um, a lot of craze hence the fingers are all ripped up like that we've got the job done and a nice kingy down <laughs> knife to the gills to bleed this kingfish to ensure better eating quality and off to the float boat he goes
back at the ledge where I put my burley down, just diving down slowly. I'm gonna peep over and see if any snapper have been attracted to it. But once again, no one home other than a few little babies. Not really worth my time. It's a good rugged looking piece of coastline for snapper so I keep snooping around into likely looking areas but same again it's just not a lot happening with the snapper today. After snooping around for about 20 minutes I'm back by the burley there's a few kingfish hanging around gonna do one last dive see if any snapper have shown up to my silver drummer but other than a few kingfish buzzing around the spot there's not much happening at all Since I've come all this way to get a feed of fish for the family and those kingfish are still buzzing around I decide I'm going to do a dive to the bottom and if one comes close enough for a shot then I'm going to take him. A little school of about four or five kingies swim past. I do a few grunts and rattles on my gun and manage to get this guy to come and check me out and unlucky for him I was close enough for a shot and another nice kingy on my spear. It's a good shot right in behind the gill plate. The fish is really hurt, it's not doing much pulling. So this fight should be an easy one. How good. And just off to the side there, about, I don't know, at least 30, 40 kingfish come in and sense the struggles of their mate over here on my spear. But they didn't hang around for long. And just like that, I've got him close to me, get a hand to the spear, and it's all over after that. I carry on with my dive and I see there's still quite a few kingfish yeah, hanging around so I yell out to Chaz and this is what happened. There's kingies right here. <laughs> Chaz is on a kingie. Get him covered. <laughs> on the ATL, yeah boy. So Chaz had flicked out my top water setup and Casted the OTL stick bait and hooked up on his first cast and as you can tell I'm pretty happy for him to see him get his first kingfish on top water 
Fuck is just hooked. Fuck is just hooked. Fuck and hell, bro. So you want to throw the wind? He might have left my brake, it's just hanging on. Hey, oh, well, excuse me. What? Fuck a beat. Yeah, boy, I'm not OTL. Yo, no fucking... Fuck, I can't even see the ground here. Yeah. Deep. It's a deep, eh? Yo, it's a fan over there, like 8 metres or 7 metres. Oh, just having a dive in there. Oh, oh, lucky. <laughs> Chad's just got him a nice little hangy on the top water set up. The old Zoltus doing the damage. On the OTLA. Oh, yeah. eh? Yo. Yes, the little 75 gram chop OTL. Yeah, boy. Whew, it's all going off now once they're tight, started pushing. Okay, just gonna let this push go. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, boy. Mean chair. First top water kingy. Oh. Did he erupt on it? No. Pretty mean bite, eh, when they do that? Fuck, Yes! Yes, Chad is on another one straight away! Yeah, boy! <laughs> is that a bigger one? Yeah, it does! Chaz just got him a nice legal kidney. Yeah, boy, it's going off. Recording you. Yep. See me on it. Go. A couple of nice kingies. Not the biggest, but it'll be a good feed. And um, saw quite a few other ones, but waiting around for something big to come around. Happily. Fuck that dog. I'm back at the next spot and straight off the bat I'm greeted by some nice big blue marmal so I decide I'm going to take a couple of these for the bin very underrated but very good eating fish these I come across this nice patch of kinna or sea urchin as other countries might call it but um, I'm pretty keen to get a bunch of these to take home as well Thank <laughs> you. 
back down there there's no shortage of these sea urchin around they're actually everywhere and most crevices and cracks around the place but I'm down there getting as much into my hand as I can before I take them back up to the float boat One last little snoop around at this new spot, see if there's any fish holding around these deep ledges or drop offs. I look over this one and all I see is a few wrasse and a nice big porcupine fish, otherwise known as puffer fish. Friendly, friendly fish these um, porcupine fish, they're not too worried about me that's for sure. I do one last dive over this deep drop off and don't see much other than a big school of kahawai vortex around me but um, not what I'm after at the moment. Swimming back to the shallows on my way back to the boat, I see a nice big scorpion fish, otherwise known as Granddaddy Harpooka or Poor Man's Crayfish. Very camouflaged, but not camouflaged enough. And I dive down, save shooting him, I just prod him with the spear gun. And another nice beautiful eating fish for the bin. Yeah boy. Nice. Granddaddy Harpooka. Spiky motherfucker rain. Yo. Nice mixed bag right there. Oh, fuck you, man. That's me done for the diving. Stair gun haul. A couple of nice fish on the road. The hammer cleaning them up. Big fella fish. Hey, buddy. And that's a wrap for that one today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. On my way home now, I've got a lot of fella things to do once I'm back, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe, that would be uh, really appreciated. It helps me out a lot. And um, don't forget, North Coast Adventure on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you out there on the next North Coast Adventure.